Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Hi, everybody. It's Cami's birthday, and I'm Cami. And apparently, I talk about myself in the third person on my birthday. But what's more important than that is that I'm joined on my birthday by my lovely, lovely blog wife, Holly. Hi. Hi, Holly. I love you, wife. I, I love you, too. <laughs> Let's just do the whole show of that. I'll just say, I love you, Holly. I could I could really cope with that. Like, you know, a, a block of time where we just say, I love you. Okay. Be fantastic. Oh, and Mr. Chaos is here, too. Oh, I love him, too. Yeah, we have to love Mr. Chaos because he's awesome. He is. I make things work. He does. Little does the blogging yeah. public know we've been on here for over half an hour now while he makes things work. And it's all working. of our good material has been used already. So it's really, really disappointing for everybody now. Yeah, we said all the funny stuff earlier. <clears throat> but it was hilarious. It was, we, we were like comic gold earlier. Seinfeld called. We and should really have been paid. We should have been paid. That's right. We re should make buku bucks off of that. But no one was recording, so no one knows how genius we were. Yeah, lost forever to the ether. It was sad, but that's okay because I have um I have a pineapple rum drink, and and Holly, you have tea with liquor. Yeah, I've poured Kahlua into my tea. Mm -hmm. I didn't know just you could do really that. for no other reason than I like to drink tea, and the only liquor I have in the house right now is Kahlua. Wait a minute, Kahlua's coffee, right? So mm -hmm. it's tea and coffee. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a it's that a, seems it's like a, a crime liqueur. against nature. Michael likes yeah. crime against nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I I don't like following the rules. And if there's a rule that says you can't put coffee in tea, then I will specifically combine them. I what? have a question. Hmm. Yeah, I have a question about tea. Let me ask you this. This is some big controversy I've been catching on the podcasts about tea. Mm -hmm. And. Mm -hmm. Do you put the tea bag in, the milk with the tea bag, and then the tea? Aha. Uh -huh. Now, this is an excellent, excellent question, and I'm really glad you asked. Now, first of all, let's establish the fact that I am, in fact, not a tea expert. That said... Can you play one for the purposes of this show? I am absolutely going to play one for the purposes of this show. Awesome. Uh, my mother-in-law, when I first started coming over here, um, well, she wasn't my mother-in-law then for a few weeks, you know. But mm -hmm. when she became my mother-in-law, um, she had been making tea where that's what you just – and it, I think it was a case of just getting everything ready so you could pour in the water and then all go back into the other room. Mm -hmm. However um, – my, my my current friends are horrified when I put the milk in uh, in the cup before pouring the water over it. So I religiously don't do it. And I almost said because I hate it when hor people are horrified at me. But then I realized, nah, I don't, I'm not actually, I don't really care about that. <laughs> but it saves a lot of argument that I really don't want to get into. So yeah, I I do not put the tea in the milk. Mainly because the um, I think their problem with it is that you're pouring boiled water into milk because you know that is really really a lot different from putting milk into boiled water. Worlds different. Mm -hmm, so have I have I clarified that at no. all? No, I don't think I have. Uh, you no. know what? I don't. Well, think what about this tea bag? I mean, would the tea bag be in the in the cold milk and then the tea gets poured? No, is no, that... no, no, no. What she's saying is this. You put the tea into the boiling water. Oh, okay. No, then, and then okay. once the tea is brewed okay. or steeped no, no, no. rather, gotcha. you would then add the that's... milk if you were so, so inclined. So actually, so that's interesting. That's right. The controversy though is people are taking a tea bag, putting it in the glass or in the whatever you call that. Cup? I, I drink coffee. I don't know. Tea it's a teacup. Mm -hmm. um, oh. But... They put the tea bag in, put milk in there with the tea bag, and then pour the hot water in. I guess. I guess. Yeah, that's, that's what how I that mean. Would is work. that's what she's saying? You can't do because her friends are horrified by it. They are absolutely horrified, it's and crazy. if they find out through me that you're doing it, there's going to be some trouble. That's he doesn't cool. drink tea. He's yeah. just being a troublemaker. Tea is for wimps. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. That's good then. Yeah, we're all good. But apparently, mm -hmm. you're supposed to pour milk in coffee. And then pour the hot water into that. 
Oh, so that you get uh, all the nice gritty grinds. Gosh. Yeah. You know, I, 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 that's a good, I should know that. From where my family comes from in Germany, they, right. they're very proud of milk. I really want to interject like a, like so. a, drink your black coffee, drink your black coffee, drink your black coffee, I stare just, at the wall. Yeah, drink your black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know, I now want to have some coffee black. Wow. Do you want to stare at the wall, too? I really do. Actually, I am <laughs> staring at the wall. <laughs> that was our little informational tea and coffee bit. Wow. I don't think we've ever had an educational segment on Strange Love before. So, uh, well, really I just wonder, are we going to call around after and see if anybody's going to sponsor this? Like, I'm thinking, you know, on your side, you could get Lipton. On my side, I could get Tetley. Very nice. I want some yeah. sponsorship. Someone could should pay me. I'm working on my birthday, people. That's right. <laughs> and not even double time. No. Give us money. Yes. If you're out there, give us money. If you give us money. Yeah. We'll for me say too. something nice about you. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's true. I'll say nice things. I do a lot of... I say nice things about things on my blog. No one gives me... Fr- no. If you don't give us money, we'll say bad things about you. So this will be the extortion podcast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who should we say something bad about? Oh, um, who do we not like? Let me or think. who do we like, but we want them to think we don't like them? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. We can't say anything bad about Miss Burroughs because it yeah. is still her birthday. It's her birthday. Until in, I in upload never, the video, it's still her birthday. Yes. Happy birthday, Miss Burroughs. Someday Happy birthday. Even though it's not your birthday anymore. Sorry. Well, I don't share. If well. I have a Never Everland window open on my laptop, and since you're connected to me, mm-hmm. so there's some overlap here. C- clearly, mm-hmm. it's both of your birthdays. It is clearly both of our birthdays, and I can accept that because she seems like a lovely person. And I'll she get to is. Meet, I'll get to meet her very soon, provided that no one gets okay, to play again. Well, I almost met her, but then everyone in my house was very sick. So I'm probably going to get to meet her on the 19th, I think. That's cool. Yeah. It's yeah, there way. seems to be this plague. Like, it's almost as if God, or that Bob. dude that I heart a lot, mm-hmm. or no, I don't heart him. I have to remember. You Do don't heart, heart him, him enough. Not? No. people. I won't. don't heart him enough. That's right. Yes. You heart him, but not enough for everyone else. And maybe it's because of my not hearting that he is punishing the whole of Oregon. With the Oh, the whole of the West Coast. Is it the whole of the West Coast? Well, Miss B is close enough to Portland. She's in that Yeah, but also I think Groovy Mom was ill too. That's awful. Awful stuff. We should all just be healthy. So Mr. Chaos has briefly had to leave the room. So we should explain something about his penis while he's away. We really should. The penis who, uh, I, I, I'd, I'd love to curse the penis. I can't. I don't have a name for it. Yeah. I don't curse things that have no name. So here's the problem. We want mm-hmm. to name the penis. And we have this huge list of penis names from everybody. The first yeah. name that I read, I think, I, I saw it and I said, that right there is the name of Mr. Chaos's penis. I was amazed and impressed by this very sturdy and masculine powerful name that was presented and and when i told him i love this name i think this contest was a great idea he laughed at me because he didn't think it was a good name for a penis and the names that he likes more are much more on the whimsical side of things oh right Mm -hmm. Mm mm-hmm and so Funny doesn't work for bedroom stuff. No. T- well, I mean, let's be honest. The one, my very favorite, my favorites, my, my I think my very favorites were Megatron. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> and, uh, and Vladimir the Impaler. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Those were my two personal favorites by Dan and Flutter. And I love them so much. And he looked at me like I was some sort of lunatic. And his two favorites were Curious George and the chub, which I believe now, was yours. Now, I got to tell you, I, see, with this, I, I, I'm siding with uh, Doc here because I walk through uh, the hallway leading up to my um, my door at work, and there is there are two fire extinguishers there, both called the chub. And now, every time I walk past them, I think, oh, Mr. Chaos. 
There you it's go. It's Gaius's penis is making an excellent appearance yeah. in your office. Yeah, see, I think for me, it's kind of like uh, Megatron is, you know, a thing of power. You know? That's right. Right? It means business. It does. It means business. Whereas Curious George, I don't feel like Curious George or the Chub are necessarily going to get things done for me. I hope really at this well, point that I my parents have stopped listening. Um, but Megatron could, I think, <laughs> do some stuff for me. Megatron sounds <laughs> impressive. And and it has an impressive history. So I think it should be aptly named. Whereas Curious George yeah. just seems like he's going to get distracted and go play in the river. I think that's probably your parents would prefer that maybe the penis was named the little boy next door. (laughs) Yes. We've been talking about your penis while you were away, dear. Have you guys been talking about my penis again? Yes, we have. always are talking about my penis. I explained, I'm going to recap everyone for Mr. Chaos here, that my two favorite names were Megatron. I have the most blogged about penis there is. You probably do. I'm going to have to blog about it some more to make sure that's true. But I was explaining that my two favorite names were Holly's Megatron. Like, my 20 minutes are up. I'm out. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs> Megatron and Vladimir the Impaler are my two favorite penis names. And that yours were the Chub and Curious George. And I was explaining yes. why I think that my names are much more appropriate than the names that you appreciate. Even though the lovely Holly, my blog wife, uh, seeks to name it the Chub. Didn't she have another idea? Oh, Yeah. What was the other one? Pokey McPokes a lot. Pokey no, McPokes a lot. No, not that one. The one that we were talking about in, in rehearsal. Well, that was just. What that, was that? It was funny. It was a joke. It wasn't a name. And I can't remember it. I can't remember it oh, either. Oh, boned it up. No. We oh, really, we did. We boned up the joke. It was a bone of contention. Oh, uh, bone of contention. Thank you. The bone of contention. I don't want to have sex with the bone of contention <laughs> either. I that do want to have hilarious. sex with Megatron. Megatron sounds like he could get the job done, and Vladimir the Impaler sounds like, hello. Okay, I'm going to say something right now. <clears throat> I just sort of read and lurk and read your blog, mm-hmm. and what I was most fascinated about by this contest is the steely interest that <laughs> Holly took in this contest, and the, the hours of thought that she put into it, and the and the and the you know I was sleeping last night and woke up and I came up with this other you know and and now you know bone of contention she's still still fixated on it. It's very nice. Yeah, do you know um, if we weren't such good friends, it really would almost be creepy. Mm-hmm. You know, when you put it like that, it almost. sort of <laughs> speaks to my maybe having a neurosis or something. Which I just want to be clear, I don't. I have an affidavit. I have no neurosis. <laughs> uh, neurosis, rather. I might yeah. be a little kaluified, but there are no neuroses uh, in this generation of the family. Well, if you see pictures of our little podcast studio, you would know that Cammie has an easy chair that she sits in with her microphone, and there's a nice couch next to her for guests, you know, so it's a very much a a sort of a chat show or a.k.a. A therapy um, space. It's so, true. I could so be you counseling in, someone. Yes. So you are in the therapy space. Even though I'm in no way qualified as a counselor. Well, hang on. So I'm, uh, I, if I were with you guys, I'd be sitting on a couch. Yes. Or, la- or, or I'm laying. I'm sitting on a couch right now, very much like I'm reclined and speaking to a therapist. There you go. Holly. So. Um, what yes. do you think is the root of your obsession with my husband's penis? Do you know, Moving on. I was sitting there <laughs> <laughs> thinking, okay, be prepared for whatever questions that they throw at you. That and never fun. really the whole of the day did I think that <laughs> this particular question would come up. <laughs> Neither did I. And moving on. Um, That's the alcohol talking, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's been that much alcohol consumed. I mean, on my end, yeah. I, my glass is half I, full. I'm just going to say, yeah, just to cover up the fact that now it's moving to the ridiculous. Yeah, I, you know, Kahlua. Wow, empty bottle. I love Kahlua empty bottles. At Christmas, my mother was here, and we were having, a, well, it was Christmas Day, I think. And so, yeah. of course, that must mean that everyone in the house wants to drink something. And my mother made us 
Oh no, maybe it was uh, maybe it was Mr. Chaos's birthday, which is the first of January. Anyway, my mother made us incredibly potent Kahlua and Bailey's and coffee drink beverages, and all the alcohol certainly outweighed all the caffeine. And oh, the, yeah. the bottles were then empty, and I was very sad. I got a little hostile because the bottles were empty. Well, that would make me hostile, too. Yeah, then I slept. Yeah, <laughs> that's really the next thing after empty bottles. Hostile, hostile, hostile. Oh, such mm, news. He told us to move along. <clears throat> I don't know what we're supposed oh, to move okay. along to. I'm guessing, that, I'm guessing that this whole section right here is going to be edited out. Okay. Well, um, what do we have a next topic then? Uh, well, what are you going to do up? for your birthday? How about that? <clears throat> for my birthday, which is right now, yes, I am going to sit uh, in this chair and drink a painkiller and talk to you. And then after that, uh, Mike and Kay are going to go shopping for my birthday present. They're doing that today. Yes. They, they did, did it sneak up on them? Did they, they were they not aware? Did you not send them the memo? I, I have no idea. Well, apparently last night when he came home around 4.30, he was planning to take her to go shopping at that point. But one of my very good friends had shown up at the house. So we decided to sit around the table and Twitter at each other and drink gin martinis instead. Right. So he didn't that, go. Yeah. <laughs> so that kind of ruins any kind of birthday <clears throat> procurement trip. It does. So apparently once we're, we are done, which would be why he's drinking coffee and not liquor, I'm guessing... He and the little one are going to go birthday shopping. And then they'll nice. come home. Now, you remember, I stepped out on the penis uh, conversation. You told us to move along. Oh, okay. All I heard was he and the little one will. <laughs> he and Megatron. Did we have a winner? Megatron. Okay. Can Megatron be the name of your penis? I just want to give it to Curious George, just so Mr. Fabulous won't quit whining that he keeps losing our Well, concepts. here's the problem, and this is, this I know, is I know. my feeling. Curious George... I think is an incredibly apt name for Mr. Chaos's penis when he was in his 20s. Oh, very. Yes. When he was, you know, in a band and wandering around. YouTube.com. Diddling things that Nothing moved. Normal. And now, you know, it knows what it's Jeez. doing. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's, it's, you know, a steady, powerful influence in our home. And I don't think it needs to be Curious George I have anymore. another question. Are we killing Holly with this? Yes. No, I have another. <laughs> I'm changing the subject. Change the subject. Change the subject. Move along. Move along. Uh, it, when I became a father, someone said, "Now you know you you need to feed and clothe and educate, you know your your kid." And I still, I still say, isn't that just a theory? Yes. Right? Feed. I mean, yes, you do need to feed. I mean, the we child. have a TV, right? Mm -hmm. You have to feed it. You can give it food while it watches the TV. Okay. And it's best it, to keep clothing it. on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It moves. <laughs> it needs sustenance. Well, the thing about it too is it continues to need it. Uh huh. Both of my its mm -hmm. just are there. You know, I gave you milk last week. What do you still hassle <laughs> me for? Exactly. You know? How often do you really need to use the bathroom? Yeah, milk done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mine comes downstairs six and seven times. In fact, my. Uh, uh, Queen of Hearts's need to go to the loo increases exponentially at her bedtime. Mm -hmm. She can go all day without needing the loo. Mm -hmm. And then come bedtime, you know, I might as well just set up like a direct pathway from mm -hmm. her room to the loo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You would love to make a player trade with us mm -hmm. because you would love to have the little chaos. Because the little chaos make statements like, I never will go to the bathroom ever. I do not need to go to the bathroom, and I never will go ever. We have like, to force what? her to use the bathroom. Go use the bathroom. Yeah, the arguments of Every chaos day. and the little chaos are always wonderfully fun. It is. It's every oh, single during night. The day, oh. During the day, I have, I, she will sit there and do this little dance. You know the dance I mean. I do. That's when I send and little chaos to the bathroom. Yeah. But I get this whole, um, listen, just go. Just go. We just go already? Just go. I don't have to go. Uh-huh. Um, just go. We freaking go. I will give you money to go. All right? I'll send you to the school you wanted. Just go. 
This sounds very similar to what happens at my house, only the part of the calm, rational mommy who offers to pay the child money is replaced by this. Go use the bathroom now. I don't care if you think you need to pee. You need to pee. Go do it. This will be the Sam- Cami Chaos soundbite for the week. <laughs> <laughs> for all listeners and bloggers to play over and over. Everyone's going to be running to the bathroom in the masses. No, oh, I think I think Holly's nicer when she tells us to pee. She offers to pay us money. Cammy sounds like she's gonna kill us. Yeah. Do you know I'm gonna clip that bit out of when you guys get it uploaded? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna clip it and I'm gonna make it my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you know that sound when your computer opens up, Microsoft's little "I'm awake now." Uh-huh, I give yeah, me this yeah. blue screen of death. Um, I'm going to make that sound also your, your, your directive. I'm so excited. Her kids will yeah. be forever afraid to come to America. It's like, we don't want to meet that Cammy Chaos. <laughs> She's, She's so the scary. opposite of Mary Poppins. She's this <laughs> scary, yelly woman about the bathroom. With no umbrella. Yeah. So, what was the, um, the Gina Davis um, thing where she forgets that she used to be like a killer and then she all of a sudden starts killing people. You have oh, yeah, no yeah, idea yeah. what I'm talking no, about. I've seen a clip of that movie the on television. Long Goodbye? Or long, long Kiss Goodnight? Yeah, that that's it. the one. Well, there's yeah. a bit in it where... Samuel um, Jackson, right? Like, I like the Sam little Jackson. kid complains about life being hard or something, or about it being scary, mm-hmm. and Gina Davis goes, life is scary, or some some silly thing like that. Well, that'll be, you know, they'll go, we don't want to meet Cammy. Cammy's scary. <laughs> life is scary. Yay! I'm going to torment Yay. children across the world. It's fantastic. <laughs> now, not just my own child will be afraid of me. Other children will live in fear as well. <laughs> so you have two two children, right? I do, yes. Queen of Hearts One and is... the, the Thrower? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I had to remember their fake I... names. How old are they? Uh, Queen of Hearts is eight, mm-hmm. and the thrower is going to be three in April, mm-hmm. which makes him two for people who are math not so good at math. <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah. going, uh, uh, somehow, as I follow around with all the links, I ended up on YouTube where you had posted a video of you and the, the, um, your oldest daughter. It was very Queen cute. Hearts. Yeah. Something about, I think, was it something about chocolate from Joe or something like that? That. That was the um, was on mullet YouTube. power video. Oh, mullet power. Oh, oh, was it? Or was it the never, ever, 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 et cetera, et cetera video. So there was more than one. about chocolate on that. There was more than one, right? Ever since yeah, there's a there. few uh, on there now. Ever since he had to give up chocolate for the month of January, he's he's been a little off kilter, even though he's not mm. a chocolate eater. It was just a little off for him to have to give up chocolate because he never thought that he'd have to give up chocolate for a month. Well, um, yeah. My point was, though, that the videos um, were, were good and um, very theatrical. You're, you're, you're both, <laughs> you were both very theatrical. Yeah. Well, she... Um, She's quite good at following direction. No, oh, no, no, I mean, no, that was totally spontaneous. Absolutely, my child is naturally gifted. Mm-hmm. Moving on. Okay. Um, Moving no, she on. is, though. She, she can do these wonderful things um, with very little sort of cue, and we just kind of play off each other sometimes. Um, but I, I, I totally, totally attribute this kind of behavior to my mom. Okay, so you know I went to the pub quiz last night. Mm-hmm. Did yeah. you win? Okay. Oh, we came in fourth, actually. Very good. How many teams were there? There were... Say there were more than four. four. <laughs> 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 there were like ten or so. That's that's in the top 50%. That's fantastic. Well, yeah. Well, actually, we were only four points off the lead. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it was quite close, yeah. And, and well, tell, I, tell me more. I brought the questions home because oh. I'm geeky like that. Oh, good, good, good. I can get in all of yeah. them wrong. Do you have them there? Should we wait for yeah, Mr. Chaos to come back? Yeah, I do. Sit right next to me. Let's wait for Mr. Chaos to come back because 
my okay. child started going, Mom! Mom! And during podcasts is the one time that I'm excused from tending to the child. Yeah. Well, I gave them specific instructions. I said, okay, from 6 o'clock onwards, I don't know you. I don't know you. <laughs> we may share jeans. That's my purse. I might. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry about all the ice noise there. I was trying to get the cherry out of my drink that was empty. No, that it makes it sound more, you know, like we're in a club setting or something. Organic. Or what? Organic. It's more organic. It's more natural sound. Oh, yeah. Space. I'm just making That's sure. right. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I think, again, <laughs> more editing. Because I'm so intent to get to the pub quiz. And have, yeah. And have my well, no, I am supposed to be waiting, yeah? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 That was my hold music. Nice. Yeah. That was your what? My hold music. We're on hold. Oh, right. That's also right. the song that yeah, I sing I to that. myself when I'm Googling something. Nice. Yeah, I have a song. I sit there and I'll go, oh, I need to look that up. And I'll type it into Google. And while I'm looking for the result that I want, I will sing do 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 But I'm not, I shouldn't really be allowed to sing, so it's kind of sad. That is Herb Alpert. Yes. It is. Is it? It's not Spanish something or other, is it? M- Mr. Chaos will know. I defer to him on all things like that, although he probably won't know because he can't ever remember the name of songs. Oh, see, I, I'm really, uh, I, I'm really ashamed because um, I should know it, and it's my mom owns all Herb Alpert albums. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so she'll be very disappointed in me. That's okay. This part probably won't air because now I'm going to eat while he's recording. Listen, everybody. Oh, yeah. I'm crunching. I'm crunching something. I have a bowl full of things that I brought down to eat, and then I realized that, oh, crap. Those are probably too loud. I cannot eat them on the air. Yeah. I'll eat it now. I should never be allowed to. I'm guessing tortilla chip. Mm, Very close. No. It's the Gardetto's um, snack mix. <gasps> you. Well, it's the 65% less fat one. Oh, I love Gardetto's. You know what I love, love, love most of Gardetto's? Hmm. Is the mustard pretzels. Mmm, they are good. So I have a question. I have a All box. Right? I have a box sitting in my dining room right now. And it has a you few, have a box? I have a box sitting in my in my dining room open. Actually, there's two boxes, to be honest with you. There's there's two boxes, both of which are going to be sent overseas. Okay. They both contain things for the people that they're being sent to, because I would not send an empty box to someone. One of the That people, is really good to know. I'm a nice person. I do not send empty boxes. One of the boxes that sits open on the table is for someone named Holly. I'm named Holly. It could be for you because your name is Holly. It could be for someone else named Holly who lives in Cardiff. There's no way to be sure. However. Yeah, well, if I fought it out with this other chick, do you think you could take have a better the, chance? You think you could take the Holly, the other Holly? I'm not sure if there is another I'm Holly. I'm pretty but, sure. But so there's a box sitting up there. There's room left in the box. Would it be nice of me to put Gardettos in the box or would it be a sabotaging of the diet for me to put the the 65% fat free less fat oh you are so 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 sweet but I'm gonna say no it would be sabotaging yeah because the thing about that is I will lock myself in a room and I will scratch anyone's eyes out who makes me try to stop eating those what if it's a really small bag what if I were able to find a tiny? S- I'm gonna look. If I can find a tiny bag, I'm gonna I'm gonna add it in. Okay, pub quiz time. Okay. Cool. All right. So the question that I first rolled my eyes at, mm-hmm. and you gotta pay attention to how this is worded. Yeah. Okay. 
What is what an is? Australian invention for which there is an English society for the promotion of the avoidance of? Is that not the most ridiculous question you've heard in your life? I don't even understand the question. It's so crazy. <laughs> I know. Well, there were people calling out, repeat the question about 50 times. Yeah. Okay. So I'll say it again. What is an Australian invention for which there is an English society for the promotion of the avoidance of? So what is the... Aus Did we mention it's early in the morning here? It's not that <laughs> early. It's like 11. I just okay, finished I'll a couple cups of coffee. What, what was the answer? Well, I'll make it easier for you to guess it. I won't make you guess it. Like I'll give you like one guess, yeah, and then I'll tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. But tell me an Australian invention. The boomerang. Bingo. You're shitting me. No. How <laughs> on earth? How on earth? <laughs> How on earth is that the you answer win. to that question? I lost on Jeopardy. <laughs> baby. It really is. How is that the answer to that question? I don't understand how the answer is correct. I think we just learned something. English are crazy. <laughs> they have a boomerang <laughs> yeah. avoidance society. Do you hear that, Martin? You and all your people are crazy. And here I thought they were smart. Um, what's another? I can't. Oh. Well, how could I get that right? Well, because it's, there's like two things. Oh, David McMahon is so going to hate me when I say this. <laughs> oh, Australia no. has only ever invented two things. <laughs> the boomerang well, and what's the other that's thing? That's the first thing that came to my mind. Is like, what the heck did they ever invent? The boomerang. The didgeridoo. Oh, the didgeridoo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I've always wanted one of those. We should find you one, babe. So what's the next question? Yeah. Cool. Is it more Australian bashing? Because we just bashed an entire continent and a country. No, we no, really I think did. we bashed the UK. I don't think okay, we bashed fine. Australia. We bashed two. No, the boomerang we is a very fine invention. The question is, why is a UK <laughs> have, have an, an avoidance, avoidance society? society? That's the real question. Well, that's... I, th I think that's an... Imp I think that there should be... Someone somewhere out there should do a blog topic about you know the english and their avoidance of policies holly i think that you are um being an american living in in the uk i think I, that you are uniquely situated to do that i would oh do you know although um, you're not the only american that lives in the uk but still i think yeah you could go for it like i would imagine in the uk they'd have like a Oh, like a V2 rocket avoidance society. Uh, I'd like know, to avoid a V2 a, rocket. Yeah. A, uh, you know, a teabag avoidance society. You can <laughs> avoid, take that either avoid way. Getting <laughs> yeah, you could uh, take that any way you want. You know, but but a boomerang avoidance. Have yeah. they had a lot of trouble with boomerangs there? <laughs> Maybe it's like. Do you know that is a really good question? Because there's a lot of it's controversy. It's an excellent, excellent question. Yeah. I'd like to know the answer to that, but I'd also like to know the next uh, question. Right. Um, well, how about another little question yes, then? Um, oh, right. Okay. <laughs> this was the one that they turned to me and said, okay, Holly, you're American. You can do this. Oh, I'm not uh, good I'm at like, American uh, questions. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. How do Americans... Spell pajamas. And I'm like, you know, you're kidding, right? I have this problem because every time I type the word pajamas in a Word document, it tells me I've spelled them wrong. I know that some people, but I e think. J. <laughs> Very good, baby. It's true. Americans well, spell pajamas PJ. <laughs> P A J A M A S. That's right. And uh, you have to take me to the pub quiz with you. I'm two for yes. two. You are two for two. It's really, really uncanny. I should really have you on at least this phone a friend thing. Definitely. I I want to go to Cardiff and go to the pub quiz with Holly. Is that okay, honey? Yeah, especially you'll do better as you drink more. Exactly. I've only had one drink, everybody. Uh, okay. Yeah. The drinking does enhance. Okay. Do you remember um, Romancing the Stone? Vaguely, yes. M Mr. Chaos is 
is very enthusiastically nodding movie. his head, though. Okay, go ahead. Um, what was the stone that got romanced? It, it was some. Was I, it an emerald? Yeah, it was something like that. Is it three for three? Oh my god! What did we put? Hmm. We put Kathleen Turner. <laughs> I was right again. <laughs> well, that, <laughs> you put Kathleen Turner. That's yeah. lovely. Have you seen her lately? because well, I thought I had remembered that Jewel of the Nile, like the jewel was some dude, wasn't it? Yeah, no, no, no. Not in Romancing the Stone. Mm-mm. It was a... It was, well, I... It was a gem. thought it kind of made sense. I am awesome. You, you don't get Michael Douglas up out of bed with a gun and a and a stuff for, for anything less than a gem. Is, are there more questions? Or that oh, there were absolutely rounds and rounds of questions. Do you yeah. have any more? Uh oh, my lifeline. I think I only do well when when Mr. Chaos is here, but he's once again okay. departed to deal with parenting <coughs> issues. But what's the next question? Okay, all right. Uh, this will be qu- the question the last. Okay, this will. And be then the... you could possibly have a four for four here. Okay. Okay. What famous dog owner attended? Birchwood School. A famous dog owner. Okay. Yeah. I have and no I'll idea. give so you I'm a just, hint, Eva. Oh, okay, you give me a hint before I just throw out what I think is the answer. Go ahead. The theme song is on my Create Buzz profile. Crap, I haven't been to Create Buzz in like a million years. So is this a television show? Yes. Well, it's been on TV. Okay. They have holiday shows of it. Hasn't been on for years. Yeah, I was going to say Winston Churchill, and that's just not right. No. 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 Fictional dude. A fictional character. Okay, who is it? Charlie Brown. Why did they make that so difficult? That should have been so easy for me. And if I'd, only, if I'd only gone to your Create Buzz profile in the last, I haven't even logged into Create Buzz in like, you know, 10 years or something, I would know because I love, 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 love all things Charlie Brown music related. I know. I bought Mr. Chaos a Charlie Brown Christmas CD because of the awesome jazz tunes. I have that. It's an awesome CD, isn't it? It really, really is. Apparently, that is what it's not Christmas until it's played. Mm -hmm, Exactly, and much of it can be listened to at non-Christmassy times. Absolutely, because it's good jazz music. Well, Vince, whose name, whose last name, I always kind of you know butcher, so I won't say it. Uh Um, He's got a fair few albums that are just really, really good. Mm -hmm. I'm really sad right now. I think I'm a poor loser. I'm sad that I didn't get the the one that would be the easiest for me to answer correctly. I feel is the one that I didn't get right. Do you think it would be good right now if like I got in the chair and you got on the couch? Yeah, let's do that. Hold on. I don't, I can't move my microphone. Okay. Right. okay. All right. Okay. We might have to just do it mentally. That's yeah. what I'm doing because okay. I can't move my microphone. Okay, you go. Oh, oh, wait, no, I want you to ask Mr. Chaos the question. Uh, just wait a moment for him to put his headphones back on because I am so upset that I did not get it right that I am really just praying that that because I heart Jesus so much. Um, I thought yeah. we were going to cut that part out. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, yeah. Holly, please ask Mr. Chaos the last of four questions. All four of them? No, no, the last of the four questions. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, sorry. Which famous dog owner attended Birchwood School? Attends, I suppose, is the best way to say it. Fictional dog owning character. A fictional? It's a fictional character. It's not Winston Churchill. How about I give a a better clue? Oh, wait, okay, she's going to give you a clue. Okay. Go ahead, Holly. It was a dark and stormy night. Oh, if you'd done that, I would have gotten it. I'm very sad. I, I, I know. I should know that, shouldn't I? What? <laughs> well, 
know everyone knows why that I was asking, mouthing the why answer are you to you. Me a, a fiction question. <laughs> because it's one of your favorite fictional music related. Oh. Um. How about this? Wait, 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 wait. Is this from literature okay. or from TV? Yes. Both. How about? Can I give him one? Can I give him one clue? Is it, you give him one clue, yeah. The first name of the character is the same as the first name of his creator. Right. I think I, that I, was I know, more confusing. I, I think I know what the answer is, but I'm trying to pull it out of my brain. It's, did I mention it's morning here? Um, it's the only one I got wrong, and then I hit myself um, in the head. I was so This sad. doesn't have anything to do with Star Trek, does it? <laughs> Close, but you're way off. Oh, okay. <laughs> How is that close? <laughs> well, I mean, that, that's my that's my fiction reference, right? I'm thinking like Star mm. Trek, no. animated fiction character, animated yeah, okay. fiction character. I'm just trying to make him answer it. How about let's see? Is it, it's not Scooby. I don't. Oh, oh you're so close because the dog's name starts with the same letter that Scooby starts with. Yeah, it has the same number of syllables and the same two middle letters. There are elephants upstairs. Um, I'm trying to think of the, the the farm that they got the little dog from, and why can't I remember that? Can you remember? I can tell him the one thing that will make him answer the question. Now this the start, dog likes to this fly a fighter with, plane. This started with God. If he would it just if he would have listened to me when I said that the dog likes to fly a fighter oh. plane, then he'd know the answer. Yeah. The dog likes to fly a fighter plane. He's, 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 no, he's not going to guess that it's Charlie Brown. What school does he attend? Yeah. <laughs> Birchwood. I know this is the thing because if they just said a different sort of clue, but I was the I've only one at the table, I'm like, yeah, in all Birchwood school, I don't know. Bur yeah. Who attends Birchwood school? Charlie Brown. I, I never. Oh. Uh, that's a. Do you know the best clue would have been this? Hmm. Mwah, 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 yeah. mwah. It would have. I, I, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I know a lot of peanuts. I know a lot of Charlie Brown. Well, that's what it's called. It's called peanuts. It was called peanuts, not Charlie Brown. It was. And I know a lot, and I grew up with it, but I'd never heard the name of the school before. No, I don't think I, I had. I remember the teacher. Like you said, wah, 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 all adults. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that was fun. That was genius, that one. We got the box set box set of the Charlie Brown. When I was growing up, well, you probably because you were growing up here, too. and You you remember the Charlie Brown specials? Like the yeah, Thanksgiving and those. the Christmas and the Halloween. Yeah. We have them, they too. They have them on DVD in a box set. We can we get them out for each holiday. We forgot to watch the Valentine's Day one. We did. Mm -hmm. How did we forget that? We're Halloween's we're the classic, lame. though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Halloween and well, we only have the trilogy. Oh, uh, we have. I think there's five. Yeah, I think so. Well, and there's two on each DVD too, because they mm -hmm. they they did the classic ones back in the '60s, mm -hmm. in the early '70s, mm -hmm. and then um, I think they did some in the '80s. They they kind of filled in the holidays, like yeah. It's Arbor Day, Charlie Brown. The Thanksgiving one is creepy. <laughs> it's Leap Year, it's Charlie Martin Brown. It's Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> exactly, yes. Charlie it's Brown. It's Cammy Chaos's it's birthday. It's birthday, Charlie Brown. Yeah. Say, we'll have, I don't know if we could use that. <laughs> we should say something interesting to wrap up the show because I think we have like 16 hours of recorded material I, I think, now. I think we'll do a two-parter. Ooh, that'll be fun. I mean, we when we got you, her you on the You have to believe Skype, us, though, that get... when you were out of the room, there was a lot of stuff that was us going... Well, really? We should probably have this edited out. Oh no. Yeah. I was I was expecting wonderful comic genius -ness as I was out of the room. Well, there was some good stuff about your penis. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, but generally, well, it has to be said that every last word that we say is riveting. Yes. But some things are more riveting than others. Correct. Yes. Riveting, but some more really? riveting than others. I want to go now yeah. and do a pub quiz with Holly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You, Those were good You questions. will come over. You will do pub quizzes with me. 
I will. I've been I've been contemplating going over to visit um, one of my very very best friends, Martin, who lives in England. And when would you be do- making this visit? And well, I won't because I've never actually like you know bothered to do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then he said he was going to move home, although he's he was born and raised in the in the UK. And only moved to... He's going to be here in like two weeks. Exactly. He only moved to the United States as an adult, but then decided that Portland was home. And then he left us. And now he's coming back, but just to visit. So maybe What part of uh, the UK does he live in? He lives in Horsbury. And I only remember (laughs) that. (laughs) I only remember that for the very important part that he lives in a town called Horsbury. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. It, it is a place. They probably have a yeah, boomerang of no. society in Horsbury. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they probably do. Yeah, I would if I lived in Horsbury. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I would know more of where he lived, um, except for the fact that I can't get over the fact that he lives in a place called Horsbury. And I just like to say it, or Horbury, rather. I think it's Horbury, not Horsbury, but which has prompted me to ask drunkenly on a postcard if that's where they bury their whores, which is not an appropriate <laughs> thing for me to do. I was thinking B-E-R-R-Y. No, B-U-R-Y. Oh. Horberry. Yeah. Oh, that's even worse. I'm probably spelling it wrong. I'm just waiting yeah. for Maps Among Us as all the UK readers of your blog start dropping off the map. We're like, oh, <laughs> we're done with this crap. <laughs> yeah. And as, and yeah. as, a, as a disclaimer, yeah. I was going to say about the boomerang avoidance thing. It's probably like like in the U.S. where we have these wrist rockets, slingshots, and there's always, oh, or lawn darts. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of big issues with you know regulations and kids not being able to have wrist rockets or or uh, slingshots. Lawn darts are illegal to make in the United States of America. I think I'm I'm probably just uh, talking nonsense now, but I know they don't make them anymore because they're dangerous because children keep getting their feet impaled, and I think. Probably worse because, uh, yeah. And then I don't. Okay, know. that makes sense. Yeah, but you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna outlaw things that people can be impaled on, mm-hmm. I, it's gonna be hard for me to make dinner eventually. Well, yeah, I just think that when they're marketed as a toy. Okay. Well, yeah. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't. I mean, knives are not generally marketed as toys, are they? Well, I don't know. No, but you know, over here there's all these castles, yeah? Every single dang castle you can buy a castle each. swords at. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, now the swords are very blunt, yes. but still. You could impale yourself on it if you tried hard enough. We just go to the mall You really have that. to work at it. Yeah, we have stores called Excalibur, and they have swords in them. And knives and all and sorts of sharp. dangerous things. Because we're America. We like sharp, dangerous things. Mm-hmm. Shiny. So, did yeah. you guys talk about the weather out there? No. How, how is is it stormy? You said. Actually, today it's been rainy, um, drizzly. Oh, this whole week was really good, um, and then just as everybody would go, "Hey, Saturday, let's go to the beach because it's it's just cold, but it's not wet," and voila. Rain. So now you, you're living in Portland, then, is what you're saying. Yeah, it's just like here. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm living in the Portland of the UK. Because we've had a gorgeous, gorgeous week. It's been 60 degrees and sunny. Absolutely yep. beautiful weather. And I was so excited to go to the zoo uh, tomorrow with Kay and Mr. Chaos to celebrate the birthday weekend. And now we can't go. Because it's going to be raining. But we're going to go to the art museum. Yes, tomorrow. I love the art museum. It will be fun. It's just not the zoo. With Do you know what's going to be great? Hmm. You and I, and now, even though I love going to the museum, I rarely get to do it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to the museum tomorrow. <gasps> we're going to go to the museum together. Yes. A continent apart. This is fantastic. Doppelganger. No, she's not my doppelganger. Oh. She's my blog no. wife. Okay. Oh, That's right. You need to keep these things straight. We already had the doppelganger on the show. Ah. <laughs> oh, by the way, I gained a mistress. I hope you're okay with that. It depends on who it is. Momo Fally. I have to go check her blog. I apologize. You got to check out I Momo Fally's blog. for not having read it. She's I will go a funny and, girl. 
I'll let I'll let you know. I'll check it out and let you know. So two wives, okay. yeah, and a husband for real, not in Vlogland. Yeah, a, a real husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a, a vlog mistress. Now I'll I'll check it out and and, and we'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna tell yeah. you no, but I have to you know to approve. Wow. I'm a I'm a jealous, domineering and domineering um, vlog spouse. Well, I got to tell you though. I'm not saying no. She could I wouldn't be do it if she wasn't worthy. I under oh, I believe you. That's why I just am, am just saying I'm going to go and read her blog. She should be prepared okay. for me to go back into the archives. How long has she been writing? I think she's been around a while now. I'll tell you how worthy she is. She is on what's that chick? Oh, I am bossy. She's on Bo- I am bossy's um, tour. Oh, she's on the 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 uh, the, the countrywide uh, road trip. Yes. I don't even read Bossy, but I know that she's going to be having her uh, countrywide road trip tour thing, I'm a Bobby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have been known to visit I Am Bossy's site. I've popped um, by. It's, it's good. I just, that I have so many regulars that I've got to keep up with. Exactly. But, you know, like your good self. Exactly. That's why I rarely add new folks. Because yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, exactly. I have also been known once a month or so to pop by a bossy's place and read a post and yeah. laugh, but I just cannot uh, that. And 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 as entertaining as it is to see someone talk about themselves completely in the third person a couple times a month, I I could not read that every day without poking my eyeballs out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not here to make friends, Holly. Apparently, I'm never no, going to. No, no, <laughs> because it's, it's not, we're not disrespecting her. No. Far be it for us to disrespect Bossy. I think what she's got is working well for her. I think she does it well, and I think it works for her. It's yeah. Just, I, I cannot read it every day. No. Mr. Chaos thinks no. someone's going to take a hit out on me now. He's making a face. <laughs> is this yeah. the part that gets edited out? Oh, God. No, I'm fine with this. Oh, okay. Yeah, he thinks that, he thinks that I'm going to get a blog hit on me. <clears throat> Which, Look, I I got your back. All right. Okay. Holly's got my back, and I'm gonna go check out the yeah. blog mistress. Yeah. And see how she's doing. I'm very excited. I'm Do you excited. Know who the who the next uh, meetup of our group is? You're gonna meet Joe. Yeah. I know. I'm very I'm very envious of you meeting Joe and of Joe meeting you. Yeah, it, it's going to be good. Do you want to come along? Yeah. When? All right, you'll be there. When is it? It's, I think, I think it's tentatively in May. In May. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to give the date away mainly because I can't remember it. It's That's fine. Yes, we should have a large, large podcast of love. By then, Holly, who lives in Cardiff, whether that be you or the other Holly, and, and Joe will have received your packages. I am bad at mailing things quickly, but I am quite certain the packages will have gotten there by May. Oh, that's so cool. You didn't get a package yet, did you? No, it's not here yet. Yeah. It will be Dang here someday. mail anyway. Well, you know, how long does it take to get something overseas? You have more experience um, with this, I assume, with family. How do you want that measured? Yeah. Um, do you want it in weeks? <laughs> I would like it in quarter years. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's less than one. <laughs> oh, good. Fantastic. So what's the best method of mailing then? Should I use the U.S. Postal Service and entrust them to send it over to the British Postal Service? How does that work? Well, i just like to establish that I'm not actually an expert or a spokesperson for either of those entities. Um, but I, I just chuck it in the post. Okay, good, good, good. There's a post office near and my house. I'll just go over there and do I have to, I have to fill out forms, don't I? You do. Oh, here's a top tip. Okay. And this is a really, really important tip for anybody mailing overseas. Okay. I love my sister to bits, but she put the value of her package as like $50 or something like that. Mm-hmm. So when my birthday did. Uh, present got delivered to me from her I had to pay like 25 quid VAT just to get the dang thing now I love everybody out there who wants to send me a present but I do not want to pay 25 quid to get it 
they make you pay to receive the package because of um, value added. Oh uh, yeah, it's like um, well VAT is sales tax, mm -hmm. and so they're just making sure you pay your sales tax on your item that you know because she put a value on it. They thought oh. We're so, buying stuff overseas. Can I just say it's a gift? That is exactly what you should do. You should put it as a gift and put the value as zero. Fantastic. Now I know what to do. Yeah, unless you're selling me something and then that's fine. Put the value down. No, I'm not selling you anything. Well, no, I mean the the the, the sort of the generic you. Correct. You, you yes. people. Yeah. Yes, you people. <laughs> unless you people are selling me something. Now I'm sending, That's you, right. I'm sending you a, a calorie-free package of stuff. Awesome. Yes. I love calorie-free things. Yes, it's a calorie-free, although there's something in there that you would probably wind up filling with calories. But I will not give filling you. Filling with? Yes. You'll understand when it arrives. Oh, I know. Yes, you probably I think do. I know. You probably do. It will be lovely. Yeah. I will expect photographs. Okay. I will. It's true. I, I'm probably going to fill it with something um, that has been known to, say, kill pain. That's what I would fill mine with. Yes. And I have one very similar to what I am sending you. <laughs> I think, how long have we been, how long have we been doing our beautiful podcast? Uh, hour three. An hour, wowzers. Wow. Cheeky, cheeky bow bow. That's okay. When we got, got her here. Well, you know what Hang I think. On. I think what we should be doing though is we should begin the the wrapping up, <laughs> the wrapping up process as the child has finally lost the ability to stay out of the room. I have just one thing. Yeah, I would love to hear. Okay, I just want to point out, mm -hmm. at the risk of mentioning it, that we went this entire session without mentioning poo. Well, then why did you bring it up? I just wanted to point it out. I think it's better that we don't talk about poo. I there was a lot of poo talk with you and Mr. Fabulous. There was. Mr. Fabulous is a known poo talker. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. But this has been entirely 99% poo free. It has been 99% poo free. <laughs> so I think we should stop saying that word now and switch back to say <laughs> penis. Or for Mrs. Miss Burroughs, I'm going to say vagina. Yes, and we would never, ever, 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 ever say JJ. Well, you just did. I'm not going to say it, though. I'm just going to say vagina, and a vagina is a beautiful thing. Why is it, it I is always walk thing, out and walk in at these moments? <laughs> We're paying tribute to Miss Burroughs. Okay. Yeah. That's soundbite number two from the show, by the way. <laughs> I <laughs> uh, love sound bites. Is there anything else that we should or shouldn't say? Oh, good lord! We said, uh, we said there's vagina. so many things. And we but... said penis. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, How it... about? Hmm. Oh, what was the great word that was on Sybil's blog the other day? Hmm. Oh no, maybe that's a little bit too sort of X-rated for a simple. Cammy Holly podcast. Hmm. What? No. What was it? What was it? It's okay to say. It. I think it's like something with monkeys. Something with monkeys. Oh no! I'm totally, totally remembering this wrong. It was a great little swear word beginning with M, and now I can't remember it. So that this is going to get edited real nicely, isn't it? <laughs> if only we had the other blog wife here as well. I know. We'll do another one when she finally gets do her Skype working. We'll do one with all of us. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I think that will be the, the thing to do. M Mr. Chaos, do you think that there's anything else that we need to say on our podcast? Yeah, I think we're finishing up here because the elephant's upstairs. If you've noticed this constant I'm, I'm, booming. I'm pretty sure that, that everyone can hear it. It's coming from the upstairs <laughs> through the, the I can hear podcast. It. Yeah. I kind of thought, you know, that the plague that was encompassing uh, Oregon was sort of, you know centralizing on your house all of a sudden yeah yeah the uh the center for disease control yeah. is breaking down our door and trying to no, spray plague, us with antibacterial the plague is over which is why spritzy. we're hearing all the jumping running crazy insanity and craziness just above our heads while so we're let's think of something podcast. really really fun and wonderful to say to wrap up our show 
Oh no, how about this? How about this? I don't think this got recorded earlier, um, but I thought it was really, really funny. Um, so you guys were setting up the sound system, yeah, and I'm just sitting here, you know, uh, entertaining myself um, mm -hmm. while you were getting the quirks worked out, and then I can I could hear people kind of talking, and then all of a sudden you shouted into the microphone, Barack Obama! <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, I'll vote! <laughs> I do love me some Barack Obama. It's true, I do, I do. And and now I've I got this now. I've gotten Holly to vote. I thought you were already yeah. supposed to vote. Weren't um, I I can vote. Um, all I have to do is get Hawaii to send me a absentee ballot. I and thought if they Hawaii would get off voted. their duff and do it. Didn't Hawaii already then vote? Then I'd be voting. Uh, yes, Oops. they did. That's that's that was his. You know that's uh, his home. Well, you're Illinois, very unpatriotic, yeah. Holly, for the Illinois United States. And Hawaii I am. Was you didn't vote. Went. Hawaii already voted. They voted for him. He he yeah, grew he up. Won. He grew up in Hawaii, so they, he was a favorite mm -hmm. in Hawaii. They voted for him. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Okay. Well then, I. Think it's I he grew up there. I really dropped the ball. Yeah. No, I did not. <laughs> I applied online. I sent in my little thing and said, okay. And, and actually, actually, it's because Miss Burroughs was giving me hassle about it. Yeah. Because I said, well, it's a bit, a bit of a hassle to do this whole absentee ballot thing. I'll just let you guys get on with it and pick the person who's going to govern you lot while I'm sitting here in the UK watching and laughing. How about you and just she's get like, your oh, absentee no, ballot you in vote. time? And I'm like, oh, for the love of God. Just get it. Fine. In time for okay, the big election. so I went online. I don't have an absentee ballot. Get it for the big election, for the actual presidential election. Yeah. Yes. Well, I, I'm, I'm assuming there that now that I have made my sort of application and said, look, I do want to vote, that they would just send me something. Good. I really, it's probably on my onus to find that out. Fine, fine, fine. See, it's the power of the <sighs> Portland metropolitan area. Cami Chaos and Miss Burroughs can make Holly vote. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, Miss yeah, Burroughs! It, it, and me. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Holly. <laughs> I know. It, I'm the sure there's something illegal people. for us to, like, you know, be pressuring you to vote. Is that illegal or is it just illegal? It really I, is. If I make her vote for a specific candidate. I think it's illegal if you pressure her to vote for a specific candidate. I think you could solicit her all day to vote. Okay. I want you to vote, but I will no way, as your wife, tell you who that you are required to vote for. All right, then. Does that cover my bum? It does. Awesome. awesome. It really does. You are free of guilt now. Well, I'm, I for this thing, I might not be free of guilt, but I'm free from prosecution, and that's really the important thing. So uh, the, it really, really is. <laughs> you, you guys are going into a good direction here. So we have a thing called the Rose Festival in Portland every year, and they bring a few ships in to the river. Although we have a very small river, so it's I'm not, gonna not admit the big something ships. that's really horrible for someone who lives in Portland and has lived in Portland for, yeah, um, gosh, a long time now. I have never been to the Rose Festival. No. Well, I went to the to the carnival part of it one time. That's I the crappy think. part. I'm not sure. I can't recall properly. I may have been. No, I haven't. Mm -mm. I've never been to the Rose Parade and I've never been to the Rose Festival. Okay, here's what I'm going to do for you. Hmm. I've got an extra one of those damn fairies. I'm going to cut my face out. Oh, put the it fairies. On, yeah, yeah. Send it over. You're bringing me to the Rose Festival. When's the Rose Festival, Mike? Uh, it's coming up pretty soon. I, I never can remember the date. It's like June or July. Well, that's not too soon. Okay, send me the ferry and I'll take you. What are you going to take her to the parade? Okay. Yeah. We're going to go to the parade? Yeah. The, so here's the bad thing. It's so popular now that people have to wake up like it or two in the morning. And last year they had this big, huge thing where a week before people were chalking out the street. Oh, yes. People like to tape were. off where they where they want to sit. Actually, your Metro bloggers last year. Which I thought was awesome. 
met up with several other bloggers in Portland and ripped up the tape. And one Mm -hmm. of our city council members said, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Nobody has a right to chalk out public spaces. Yeah, they made it clear if you want to get there early to get your seat, that's fine. But people were taping off places of the city, public property, you know, sidewalks. That's so ridiculous. Yeah. crazy it was crazy and controversial and the people who taped things off actually thought that the people who were pulling up the tape should be arrested for it yeah and the people who were pulling up the tape were like no we're cleaning up litter yep and they that was awesome so for the record i I never weighed in officially on that but i thought that was really awesome but then we didn't go yeah we didn't go because we suck and our child is poor and deprived and has never been to a real parade but they have those ships down there they have big destroyers and stuff which is to say i won't go to the parade for my child's welfare but i will go to take holly's fairy face mm-hmm. nice because mm-hmm. i love do you know what's Holly. do you know what's awesome in honolulu i used to go to every friday have you guys ever been to hawaii i have no mr chaos doesn't take me See, anywhere oh you gotta take this take my wife to hawaii come on now you take her well, anyway, every okay, I'll Ooh. take you. To oh, you Hawaii. get married there too. <laughs> yeah. While you're there, I don't think we can because um, I'm already married, and true. so is she. Yeah, yeah. It's it really just really works online. Um, every Friday in Hawaii is Aloha Friday. I mean, it's just it's not there is no Friday. It's Aloha Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and every Aloha Friday, um, there's a fireworks show for the sole reason that it is Aloha Friday. So I used to go out um, on a friend of a friend of a friend's yacht, um, which, and by yacht here, we mean sort of 50, 60 footer. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, go out, watch the yacht races that were about maybe, I don't know, maybe one, two miles offshore. Um, And of course, by the time we got there, we were very, very inebriated. Mm -hmm. And then we'd, Get back in to uh, uh, the boat club, the yacht club, about just pulling up to 8 o'clock in the evening and watch the fireworks. And that was awesome. Every Friday night that happened. That is sounds. Really... I didn't get to go every Friday, but it was just awesome. Do you plan on going back to Hawaii anytime soon? Have I you... plan on doing a lot of things. Have you taken the kids to Hawaii? Well, actually... Um, Queen of Hearts uh, doesn't remember anything before Hawaii Um, because we lived there from she was about seven months until she was about five. Mm. So she has been in Hawaii, obviously. (laughs) And you lived in Honolulu? Yeah. Yeah, we lived in Honolulu because my husband wanted to do his PhD there. Do you know, guys, I have a little boy who's trying to lay across the laptop. Yes. You need to go. We need to go. Perfect. I love you, Holly. We've got so much. I love you, Cammy. Yay! Someone say something fantastic. Um, <laughs> the Australians are the Yay! best, most um, lovely people. They are the loveliest people Yay! who invent in the fabulous world. things. Yes, yes, and there should be no Yay! society for the promotion of avoidance of Australians. That is the truth. <laughs> That is the truth. Goodbye, Holly. Thank you so much for being on my show today. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Let's do this okay. again sometime. Yes, let's do it again sometime. Say goodbye to the thrower and queen of hearts as well. Yeah, oh, I will do. He's shouting at me for a drink right now. Yes, he doesn't need anything to drink. He had one last week. Suggest a painkiller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. Okay, good night, Holly. We'll talk to you later, sweetie. Good night. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank <laughs> you.